So it is a couple days before Pokemon Day. And while we're all excited for the single patch note that states Pokemon will not be spawning in the goddamn balls anymore, we were gifted with yet another new 7-star terror raid. And if you've ever wanted to fight a yellow rat on crack, then boy do I have some good ass news for you. Because after Ash Ketchum went champion mode and retired to Shady Oaks, his Pikachu squatted 20 plates and came to the Paldia region to f*** shit up. This thing is nuts. Nuts, bro, and if you guys know me, I'm not the type to say that about these raids. But N9 Kai would not be N9 Kai if I did not come out with some banger builds to solo these raids. So if you want to farm these raids, I got you. So enough talking, let's get into it. So, same as before, this Pikachu is level 100, perfect IVs, but unlike its 7 star predecessors, this thing is actually EV trained, with max EVs in special attack, HP, and a little bit of attack. It's also holding a light ball, which doubles Pikachu's offensive stats, which is why it hits so goddamn hard. And as far as its moves goes, it's gonna be Thunder, Surf, Play Rough, Iron Tail, and Rain Dance. So now that we know his moves, let's talk about its turn 0 tech, which in short is what he does before the raid even starts. So on turn 0, Pikachu will set up his shield all the way to full. He will then use Rain Dance, followed by a hard hitting Surf. And on top of that, the damage values of hitting this Pikachu work in kind of a weird way. So damaging the Pikachu without terastalizing, super effective or not, without fail, will be doing 1% of the damage it should be doing. Now when you do terastalize, if the move isn't super effective, it will be doing 70% of the damage it should be doing. Now, when you terastalize and use a super effective move, that is going to be doing 100%. 120% of the damage it should be doing, which is insane. But this Pikachu has the ability Lightning Rod, which makes it immune to electric moves and when it does get hit by an electric move, it gets its special attack raised by one stage. This also means if you get a Belly Bolt on your team, f***ing run, unless you want to fight Jesus Christ himself. And if you want to know how to re-roll your AI team, my homie Callum already posted a video on how to do it, so I'll link it in the description below. Okay, so back to the point. We're gonna want to hit this Pikachu with super effective damage, and since it's a water type that leaves us with only one option, a grass type or in my case, grass types, as I'm bringing y'all two of these bastards today. So let's get into the builds. So I woke up kind of late for this raid and people have been having a bunch of success with different builds, but the two Pokemon that have proved most successful for me are Arbeliva and Amoongus. Now for the movesets, they're both exactly the same, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show both of them at the same time. Okay, so for the moves, we have Giga Drain, Growth, Sunny Day, and Synthesis. I gave them both a Cover Cloak to block the Paralysis from Thunder and the Defense Drop from Iron Tail. And even though I poured all the defensive EVs into its physical defense, the special moves will always be a 3 hit KO. Now, for the reason, I prioritize defense over special defense. And this is important, so listen up, because I know some of you are going to be like, Oh, I put it into special defense because the, the, the special move, oh. Okay, so when it comes to the moves Pikachu will pick, it will always go for its highest damaging move. We all know this. And after after you set up Sunny Day, Thunder will be its highest damaging move, and Thunder is only 50% accurate in the sun, and 70 out of the sun. Now if you poured your EVs into special defense, then the highest damaging move would be Play Rough or Iron Tail, with Play Rough being 90% accurate and Iron Tail being 75. So obviously you would want to be hit by a move that's only accurate 50% of the time, because it gives you more chances to set up. Speaking of set up, let's get into the turn order. Now this turn order is not set in stone whatsoever. Both of these Pokemon are very consistent at soloing these raids, but I don't think the turn order has been the same once. So this turn order starts after you get hit by the Surf on turn 0. So on turn 1, I use Sunny Day. On turn 2, I'll click Synthesis. Because you're so low HP, Pikachu will choose a random move to kill you, but if it misses, you get full HP back, and if you die, it's completely fine. And these two turns are the only ones that I've done every single time in my testing, but after these turns, it's only a matter of using enough enough Giga Drains you need to Terra, as well as balancing healing and keeping the sun up. And also, if you guys didn't know, the reason I have growth on here is because growth raises your special attack by 2 instead of 1 in the sun. So getting plus 4 or even plus 6 if you're greedy will get you some fat ass damage on the Pikachu. It'll take you about 5 hits with Amoongus and 4 with Arbeliva. So after turn 2, like I said, it's all up to you to use good judgment and getting in a position to set up. Now if you want to see how I did it for a reference point, I'm about to show you guys raids with both Pokemon right now. So enough talking. Let's watch some goddamn gameplay. Uh, why, why does this always flashbang, yo? It is giddy. Got my boy AG here, if you know, you know. The rain dance. Uh, dude, this takes so much time to do. Alright, we can finally pick a move. Alright, this should bring us down to uh, one shot. It's a little sunny day. Uh, and we either heal back, he misses and we heal back, or we die. Either is fine. Alright, there we go. 
I completely forgot I had no game audio, my fault. Now we just spam Giga Dream and Thunder is going to be a 50% accurate because of the sun. And if it does hit, it's not the end of the world. If you get hit by three, just make sure you click synthesis and you should be chilling. Or two actually, if you get hit by two, you should rip a synthesis because it is a four hit KO. <laughs> I've been hit by every thunder, 50% by the way. That sucks because like, it's probably gonna get to the point in the timer where it uh, steals a Terra Orb. Yeah, that should be it. I, unfortunately, I think around now in the timer is when it's gonna, he's gonna steal Terra Orb. Yeah, tragic. Now we can Terra and rip a sunny day. Well, this took a lot longer than I wanted it to. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we missed again. Perfect. Law of the averages. Getting a little, little lucky. All right, at this point, you can just start ripping a groats and pray he misses thunder. Unlucky. I mean, yeah, like I said in the video, you just bounce back in between synthesis and growth. Because no matter what, thunder is going to be a four hit KO. So if you get hit twice, just make sure you synthesis after the second hit. Two growths. Whoa, 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 wait till wait till you'll see this. Y'all have never seen y'all have never seen the offensive Amunia, so I promise you. Look at look at what chunked. I mean yeah, at this point in the raid, it's just spam A, right? But yeah, I'll, uh, this is also a good time to show that uh, um, once I max out my physical defense on Amunia, then it's just gonna it's gonna look to click Thunder over and over again. I mean like this would have went a lot faster if I didn't got them clicked all those miss inputs. It's fine, it's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's time to obtain the sauce. Hold on, the entire Shrek movie has to play first. Oh my god. With these defensive stats, it should be using Thunder without fail. No matter what. Or after I use Sunny Day, I mean it should be using Thunder. Alright, Sunny Day. And same as Among Us, uh, I synthesis. If I die, I die. If he misses, I get healed. God, that heals so much, dude. That's actually insane. Okay, there we go. Now it's using Thunder. My game is muted again, dude! I did it twice in a row! Uh, I think we're probably gonna have to synthesis here, sadly. As much as I would love to- Oh, but bro! He doesn't miss! He does not miss! God damn it, boy! That's what I wanted to avoid. It is what it is. Surely he misses a thunder here, surely. Thank you. Missed again! Yeah, forcing- I think forcing thunder is just infinitely better than forcing iron tail. Alright, rip the terra a grass. Now we can rip a little sunny day ski and we should be good for the rest of the battle. Uh, you guys are gonna see how much more Arbeliva actually does as well. Arbeliva does a lot more damage. And that was probably a good time to say, if you if you have friends, unlike me, this would be a good time to actually like bring a friend that could set up study there and just run like three Arbelivas. Hey man, that's the reason I do solar raids, because I, 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 yeah, friends are overrated, bro. Surely I'm not coping. Okay, now I can use Giga Drain rather than Synthesis. Yes, you get a little bit of chip and heal back up. Alright, surely I can get plus six now. I mean, you don't need plus six, right? I just want plus six because I'm greedy and I like to see health bar, health bar go boom. Satisfying. With grassy terrain, I'm fairly sure it's a three hit KO. Yeah! And that is... Rapacles. Yep, both very good options. Both very consistent. I like these two. Amoongus and Arb. Goated. Goated. Absolutely goated. Hey, real quick before this video ends, if you did enjoy this video or you found it helpful, please do leave a like. And if you want more content like this and other stuff, dropping a sub would help me out greatly. And we're dumb close to 10k, which is a huge milestone for me. And also, leave a comment of your strat down below if you use something different. I would love to hear it. Other than that, hope you guys have a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out this piece. Deuces!